Hearing someone scream snake can cause people to panic. And when you're in the shallow, murky rivers of South America, home to the deadly anaconda, you realize this is not a garden snake coming towards you. It's a green anaconda. Here's how to survive an anaconda attack. These are not small snakes. It's often said that green anacondas can grow up to nine meters in length, and they can weigh as much as 225 kilograms. Anacondas prey ranges from 10% of their body weight all the way up to 146%. So humans are fair game. Why is it important to hold your breath? What should you do if you get bit? And how could your teeth become your best defensive weapon? It only takes seconds for an anaconda to wrap around its prey and squeeze it to death. And no matter how strong you are, the snake can create up to 62,053 kilopascal of pressure. Anacondas have a legendary status as man-eaters. So if you're going into anaconda territory, here's some tips to help you survive. Step one, push your hand inside the snake's mouth. If an anaconda is nearby, watch its face. An anaconda shows its predatory behavior by flicking its tongue. And if it bites you, do not yank yourself away or try to forcefully pull yourself out of its mouth. An anaconda's inner teeth curve backwards to hold onto its prey. So if you try to pull out of the snake's mouth right away, it can cause serious injuries. Getting out in this situation will be much easier if you have someone else to help you. Ask them to slowly open the anaconda's mouth as they do that, push your hand or whatever body part is being bitten further inside the snake's mouth. This will get it off the snake's fangs. Then you can get out of the snake's mouth without causing even more injuries. Step two, wear proper gear. You might feel safer if you wear clothing that's harder for these snakes to bite through. This includes thick gloves, sturdy shoes, and thick clothing. But what if you set out to become snake bait? Paul Rosalie, a naturalist, agreed to be swallowed whole by an anaconda for a TV special. They thought the snake might regurgitate him, and if necessary, they could cut him free. He wore a special carbon fiber suit designed to withstand the snake's fangs, constriction powers, and digestion so he would survive the ordeal. The suit was doused in pig blood to make it more appealing, but when Paul approached the anaconda, the snake was afraid and tried to escape. So Rosalie provoked the snake. It eventually attacked, swallowed him head first, and began squeezing. He was inside the snake for an hour. Then Rosalie was worried that the anaconda was going to break his arm. He cried out in fear and pain and asked the crew to rescue him. They did. Step three, hold your breath. If an anaconda grips the middle of your body, do not exhale. It's like a signal to the snake. Every time you exhale, the snake will squeeze tighter. That could prevent you from getting your breath back. Step four, stay away from the water. Anacondas like shallow, murky rivers. So stay on land or get yourself to land as fast as possible when anacondas are around. They're great swimmers, but they're not fast slitherers on land run towards land, and keep running until you get as far away as possible. Step five, bite the snake. You couldn't get away fast enough. An anaconda put the bite on you, and it has no intention of letting you go. Remember, its weakest spots are its tail and its eyes. Go on the offense, open wide, and bite the snake's tail as hard as you can. It will cause the anaconda tremendous pain and hopefully the snake will let go. Use your fingers as aggressively as you can and poke its eyes. Eyes are a crucial organ that these huge snakes will try to preserve. The truth is, a human is not an anaconda's ideal prey. Its average meal weighs around 18 kilograms. But if you find yourself being attacked by another predator, remember, we have you covered right here on How to Survive.